Hello everyone, welcome back to the Alphabet Legacy Challenge. So, um, I know you can't really see it right now, maybe it'll be easier to be seen when I get into the game, but as you can see under my webcam here, I have uh, at least two generations and how many kids they're going to have. I have Gen A, which is Asher, he's going to have three, and I have Gen B, who we'll find out when he has kids, which one it'll be. And they'll only have one child, and I'll keep going like that. I'll always do at least two down below me, so uh, just keep an eye on that, um, and you'll see how far along we are. I thought that was a good idea to um, show both on YouTube and stuff, and wherever else I may share it, because it'll show people, oh, this is where we're at. There are other videos to catch up on. Of course, this is only the second episode, but in the future. Um, so, but before we get into this, I am going to uh, put a poll in the description as well. Um, so by the time this goes up, I will have finished Cinderella Phenomenon on my YouTube channel. Now, I want to know what you want to see next. Do you want to see another visual novel? Do you want to see another Sims series? Do you want to see another Minecraft series? Do you want to see something completely different? And if, n and if so, let me know. Um, I'm going to create the poll after I record this video. So it'll probably be up relatively quickly. Or at least the poll will be made relatively quickly. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I just woke up not too long ago. But yeah, I, I'm curious because... Um, I'm just trying to get a feel for like what people like, what people don't like. I've done Stardew Valley already, so if you want to say Stardew Valley, you can go back onto my channel and watch that. Um, but aside from that, just let me know. I might do a few like one-off videos as well. I do like doing those, especially games I already have. Like I have Para Eyes, I might do a video on that at some point. Um, I bought it for my birthday stream, actually, back last month, and um, I was like, you know, I, like, I've played it on stream before, but I don't think I've ever posted it on my YouTube channel, so if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Um, <clears throat> aside from that, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so it's raining... Um, okay, feminine sims. So, um, d does this man have a job? Yes, he's going to work soon. Uh, let me clear all my little notifications over here. I have so many mods, guys. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, he's going to work. And <clears throat> I think I'll just speed through his day. And, um... I'm not going to show the process because it would take so long, but I'm going to make him um, a girlfriend. Um, and what I mean by that is she's going to be in a separate household. She's going to have an actual house. Um, and because over here, sexually attracted to feminine sims, demi-romantic, uh, can experience a romantic attraction only to sims who he has a deep emotional connection with. Gray sexual, doesn't typically experience sexual attraction, but might in some circumstances, and romantically attracted to feminine sims. So, we're going to make him a girlfriend. Um, I kind of want to make her a mermaid. Um, because uh, he has Child of the Ocean, and it says, answer to the Answer the call of the ocean. Since with this trait will prefer water-related activities and feel closer to denizens of the sea. So if I make his girlfriend a mermaid, then I can, like, play into that a little bit, tell a bit of a story, like he falls in love with a mermaid, like he goes on vacation to Sulani, meets this girl, finds out she's a mermaid, you know, that sort of thing. That might be something I do. I don't usually do storylines in my games, but, like, maybe that's something we could do. Uh, maybe it'll make the game more entertaining, more interesting, because um, right now, I'm just sitting here, you know, watching him exist in this tiny little house. 
with $53. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think I'll do something like that. So I will be back shortly. I'll show you what she looks like, and then I'll move her in, and she will remain in my played households, and I might turn off neighborhood stories for everyone else as well, simply so that one of the NPCs doesn't get with her, because I specifically want her to be for him. So, and I know if I keep neighborhood stories on for the NPCs, even if I have it turned off for my played sims, uh, sometimes, and maybe they fixed this by now, but sometimes they'll have, like, NPCs get with them and move in with them and all this stuff, and I don't want that to happen. So, we're gonna go work on her, and I'll be back shortly. I mean, already she's really cute, and I just generated her, so let's see... What happens? Okay, we've got her made. So here she is when she's in her human form. She looks very cute. Um, I made it like... When I think a mermaid, and especially one that's like... Um, you know probably proud of her heritage and i think most people are like this too when i think mermaid i think like flowy outfits like this and this this isn't as much but you can tell they're like a little baggy on her um this one i could change i might switch it to um i think that's the most flowy of them to that um, like this I really liked that hair uh, so I have it as her party outfit and her swimwear on her party outfit and swimwear outfit so here she is although I kind of wish they weren't linked because that makes it a little obvious that she's a mermaid and I kind of like Here, maybe I'll unlink it for the time like and make this like a yellow color like that But aside from that you know and Here's this. Oh, and I have it on her mermaid form too, which I might take it off of her human form. But she's got this uh, eye preset I have. It is the Kurachi, I think is how it's pronounced, eyes. Um, that kind of hint at like, maybe she's not fully human, but um, I think, I, I don't know if I want to put this on all of her outfits or just leave it specifically for her mermaid form and take it off here. Um, but anyway, here's her summer outfit and her winter outfit as in her human form. In her mermaid form, she looks like this. And... You can see the eyes on here. How they look a little a little strange, a little different. Um, but yeah, so this is her mermaid form. Still absolutely gorgeous, but definitely like... <laughs> I, I made her a goth mermaid, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, especially with the eyes, it's like definitely there's something off here. Um... Well, maybe not off, but like a little strange about her. But in her normal human form, she's just a cute, just a cute lady. So yeah, so let's get her moved in and then we'll switch back to Asher. All right, I'm on the loading screen. <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. So there we go. She's moved in. I'm going to set up her house. Um, uh -huh. Auto lights, all lights. 
and I made sure she was by some water because mermaids have to be, like, they have to get, mermaids can't stay dry for long, going swimming, taking a bath, or even a nice drink of water will help bring it hydration back up. So I made sure she was by water so she didn't, you know, die. Uh, she'd be happy to have a child, which I, as you can see, made her aspiration the same as his. And yeah, so let's go back to Asher. Alright, he is back home. Um, whoop. Someone wants to buy the socks he knitted, so we're going to ship those. Sir, ship the socks. Jesus. Clean up the random crap in your inventory. So he's got a little money. Um, I think... Because let's be real, the poor guy can't live in this thing for very long. So we're going to have him take a seat. <coughs> and we're going to... We're going to turn off micro home or tiny home and just switch it to residential. Because I'm going to do a whole lot of like adjusting and you know. So here we have a slightly bigger room. Um, I'm going to move the living tree over here. Um, we're going to put that there. I can't make much of a room off to the side here. Yeah. I can start working on a room off to the side here as like a bathroom. But yeah, it's... <laughs> The poor guy's feeling a little rough. <laughs> um, he needs to use the bathroom. He's hungry. And I don't really know... Go here. I thought I pinned have a child. Why did that not save? Whatever. Um, okay. What? Fuck off. Uh, one minute. Okay. Um, yes. I gave him some money. And I gave him some basic fucking, uh, appliances. Because, God, I couldn't just sit here and watch this guy just... <laughs> just be stuck no bathroom no n nothing like i i needed to give him something because this poor guy is <laughs> is having it rough <laughs> oh well he does have that last There. Sure. Okay, he's he's eating it. Okay, I was like, am I gonna have to tell you to eat it? No, you're also a child. Excuse me. Okay, he's eating, which is great. Also, he works in the culinary career, so he better like cooking. <laughs> um, let's have him take a shower and go ahead and head to bed. Um, he doesn't quite have... Can I help you? He doesn't quite have enough money to go on vacation. But... Um, 
I kind of want to... Why is Nancy Landgrab digging in our trash? What the fuck? I might, um... Go build a rental in Sulani. And... Um... What am I thinking of? Shut up. Oh, he's got some facial hair! Look at that! As I was saying, I might go... Build a rental in Sulani. Um, I need another fucking trash can, because that bitch just knocked that over. One minute. Okay. I might go build... Um... A rental in Sulani. Maybe I'll make it a video. Um, and he just glitched. Then throw away the trash. Jesus. It's not that hard. Okay. Use the toilet. And we're gonna save. <laughs> Because I don't trust this fucking game. I, uh... <laughs> too many times. Too many times I have been trying to play this fucking game. Right? And... My sim is making food. And... Suddenly the damn place will catch on fire. I am traumatized. And it's usually when I'm trying to do legacy stuff, too. So, like, I'm trying to have at least the founder live long enough to have a child, right? And, um... They end up dying while making food. And it's like, what the fuck, game? Let me... <laughs> Let me just have my, you know, sim be a normal fucking person. Stop killing my sims, please. God damn. Yep, eat them eggs and toast. But yeah, I think that'll be a video is me building a rental in Sulani. It's probably going to be a pretty long video, too. Because um, it's not going to look like this. It's going to be nicer than that. Um, but, you know, let's... Uh, let's... He does work today, but not until 3. So I guess he can just go there? Just, just go by yourself. It's okay. And this is going to be real fucking creepy, but we're doing it. Where is there is it? Sulani? Can he visit? Yes, he can. I know this is really fucking creepy. I am so sorry. There we go. So, friendly introduction. From Carol Musty. Dag dag. Now let's see what happens with these two. Play Yun Zaruga. Kasal. Dromus? Or a bag. Maybe. Sharp gal moo. Ukaru. I'll just pause this and actually don't know no. we'll we'll see what happens here together they seem to be getting along shut up nina oh where where is she going is she just run into the water? That was random. Oh, she's she's swimming. She be swimming. 
Girl, you're a mermaid. What are you doing? What is happening right now? What what is happening right now? Like you're a mermaid. Why are you not in your mermaid form? And you fling in your legs like point. <laughs> like what is happening right now? Uh, dis discuss interests. Like, who is this Layla, and why... She can fuck off, is what she can do. Go get in the water. Well... Uh, and now she's working out. Great! Ah. Artist and jester, I see. Oh, oh, now they're starting to not like each other. Oh, yeah, I'm a chef. Oh, I don't have a job. <laughs> I mean, okay. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, he needs to go home. <laughs> there it is. Pin that shit. He needs to go home and get ready for work. He's got work in a few hours. Yeah, let me just teleport between worlds. <laughs> no, but seriously. Um, if I have to, I will cheat the relationship up. Just so I can get them together and have them move in and stuff. Because I specifically made her for him. So if they don't get together, I'm going to be very disappointed. So I may cheat the relationship up. But we'll see. We'll see how I feel. I mean, they seem friendly so far, at the very least. What just happened? Oh shit, I should have gotten a screenshot of, the, of those two. You know what? Shut up, Nina. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get a bit of a screenshot here before he goes to work. Hey girl, hey. So first uh but 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 uh, don't ask if she's a mermaid. I mean she is, but you don't know that yet. <laughs> Okay, I will be back shortly. Okay. I got a couple of screenshots. One of them will be the thumbnail. Y'all will find out. <laughs> so, they're hanging out. I think he'll, I'll just let him keep... Oh, he's got work. Okay. I, I wasn't paying attention to the time. So, she's just chilling at his house. No big deal. Not at all. She cannot be out of the water too long, though, so I don't want her to die. I love how she's just sitting there. Okay, so she just left. He's almost home from work. He's gonna be fucking exhausted, bro. We're gonna put that up just a little bit so he has time to, like, use the bathroom and stuff. Um, and someone wants to buy the hat he made. So, that's good. Hop in the shower, and now you can go to bed. Come on. You can, you can go to bed, sir. Okay, <laughs> so, um, he's met her, 
Um, so I'm gonna let him sleep. And we are gonna end this episode here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to get notified when I post. Sharing the video would be appreciated as well. I've got a link tree in the description if you'd like to support me in any way, shape, or form. It's got all sorts of links on there. It's got my Twitch. It's got my uh, Fine Art America, Redbubble, all that good shit down there. So, if you want to go down there, go ahead. Um, and, yeah, I'm hoping, like, like I said... If I have to, I will cheat the relationship up so I can have them get together. Because she's I made her specifically to get with him. And they're going to have three kids together. So <laughs> I will force this ha to happen if I must. So <laughs> thank you again and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.